hairstylist during the day and a health inspiration at night. I decided to start working out to better myself, to start feeling good about myself. I was heading down an unhappy path in my life and I realized that I am the only person that is in control of my happiness. So I hit the gym and I didn't look back. I started reaching out to people to help me improve myself. And one of them is Arielle. I call her my best friend. She created a meal plan for me. I started losing weight. I started lifting weights and I started getting, gaining muscle. People started to see my progress. They started asking me for help. And that's what I do now. I help people. I see more to life than what most people do. Every day I wake up and I find a purpose and I look for a meaning. I follow my passion. And at the end of the day, that's what Dying Breed is about. It's a breed that is sort of ceasing to exist we get so caught up in the materialism of the world that we forget to appreciate the little things in life. And I'm really excited to be a part of this lifestyle. Dying Breed, it's a culture. It's a group of artists that represent everything in life from music to painting to health to beauty to everything that falls under the category of art and self-expression so uh, self-expression <laughs> i am able to self-express myself uh being a part of this lifestyle On the railroad, love to come high, but light, not pure. I don't bite, not pure. We die a little bit every day, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. When I say we die a little bit every day, I mean every day I lose a little more dead weight. Whether it's anger, sadness, bitterness, negativity, I lose something. And I consider that dying just a little bit. But at the same time, I live.